folks, Scott here with my 10 card one kit video featuring the Love from Lizzie October 2019 card kit. Lizzie is calling this the Home Sweet Home card kit. As usual, I do take the five card stocks Lizzie provides in the kit and I cut them down and make them into card bases. I do find that sometimes the color of the card base actually will inspire a card from me. Now, upon first glance, I kind of thought that this kit was a little more scrapbook oriented than particularly card oriented. Lots of houses, lots of home, lots of family. So I was a little concerned that I'd be able to make 10 real useful cards out of this kit. But of course, once I start digging in and working, Lizzie always gives us so many materials that you can create almost any kind of card from any of Lizzie's kits. So of course my eye was drawn to this lamp stamp and this sentiment, sending love and light. So that's where I went for my first card this month. This is on the maize yellow card base and we've got our sending love and light lamp card. <laughs> now I channeled my inner Sandy Almock <laughs> to make this card. I was really interested in trying to color this lamp and put it in a little bit of a scene and actually show the light coming out from under the shade. I die cut a piece of Lizzie's super smooth white Copic friendly cardstock and then I reached for my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers to color this. I used the light yellow one, two, three, and four to color this wallpaper. I just sketched in this little table myself. I colored that with the tans, colored the lampshade with the burnt orange colors and I just went over this wallpaper the darker part of the wallpaper three or four times with the alcohol markers to turn that much darker than the area coming out from under that lampshade. Very pleased with how that came out. After I finished using my alcohol markers I did grab my Prismacolor white colored pencil and I added a little bit more white underneath the lampshade here. I really like this. I think Sandy Alnock would be quite proud of me. <laughs> Sending love and light. I stamped the sentiment with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I did emboss that with some clear embossing powder. I matted that colored panel on a thin black mat, then die cut the green pattern paper with another Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die, put that on a thin black mat, glued those both flat to our maize yellow card base. I then took one of those pins, one of the yellow pins, and I snipped the pin part off of the head, those nice pearl heart heads, and I glued that heart on the front of this card for my little touch of bling. I actually used some of the Hero Arts Gold Glimmer ink to color the base of the lamp and the little finial on top. So there's a little shine on those. It's interesting because the colored pencil gives us a little bit of shine underneath the lamp as well. Very interesting. I'm very pleased with that. Sending love and light, a lovely little vignette featuring that fun lamp stamp. <laughs> Is that like a tramp stamp? No. <laughs> So I had my alcohol markers out and I had my super smooth Copic friendly cardstock out. So I thought we'd play with our Copics a little bit more on our next card. This is on the mid gray card base and we've got a new home card with our little house on the front there that says home is where the story begins. Oh, that couldn't be more perfect for a new house card. So I stamped our house stamps a couple of times on a piece of that Copic friendly cardstock. Then I took my brown grays and my blue grays to color those in, try and move those all monochromatically into the background. Now I was originally going to use one of the bigger houses on the front here, but then when I found this house on our sticker sheet that had that great sentiment, home is where the story begins, 
I had to use that. So I pulled that from our sticker sheet. I de-stickified it with my powder tool. I trimmed my house piece down and matted that on some more of that yellow pattern paper, glued that to the front of our card base here. I stamped the new home sentiment and our flowery little additions with Versamark ink directly on the card base and embossed those with some white embossing powder. I then added this house to the front of this card using foam tape and added three little heart gems coming out of the chimney there. And then all of a sudden I needed a little bit more sparkle here. So I reached for my uh, Love From Lizzie. These are the lemon glitter peel off. So I topped to the bottom and the top of our strip in the center with the lemon glitter peel offs. Those work really nice. Give us a nice little sparkle. Of course, this isn't all to the card. I did fill out the inside too. We've got new home. Home is where the story begins on the inside. Home sweet home. And here's to love and laughter and happily ever after. I don't think you could come up with much more of a perfect welcome to your new home card. Of course, the yellow and grays work great together. A really fun, a really sweet welcome to your new home card. A little bit of bling and a little more alcohol marker coloring. Now between our sticker sheet and our ephemera pack, and I actually got the add-on sticker pack, between all of those and the cut aparts, we have tons and tons and tons of hearts in this kit. So I decided to wrangle them all together. And for my third card, this is on the black card base, we've got sending lots of love card. <laughs> this is all based off of this box of hearts ephemera piece that's in our ephemera pack. I took that ephemera piece and attached that directly to this black card base with some foam tape and then gathered a bunch of different hearts to continue the hearts coming out of the box right off of this card. I did take my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and sparkled up all those hearts a little bit. I took this tag that was in our ephemera pack and using my Silhouette software, I created this sentiment to go on that. Sending lots of love. That's with the Smoothie Shop font. I did that using my Silhouette software. Remember, that software is free. And I printed it directly on that tag. Well, I was playing with this, and I realized that that little envelope stamp with the plants was just about the same size as this ephemera tag. So I went ahead and stamped that on some Bristol Smooth cardstock color that with my zig markers fussy cut that out attach that to the bottom of the tag both of these are on the card front with foam tape a little bow using the twine with the gold sparkle thread through it and one more little heart gem right there on the tag sending lots of love <laughs> this is a fun card <laughs> and of course on the inside I believe this is from the add-on sticker pack Great three little hearts at the top of our writing surface on the inside, sending lots of love. And there's lots of hearts coming right to you. I love those bright, colorful hearts on that black, black background. For a final touch, I did take some of my white pan pastel and did a little bit of a white shadow under that box just to give it a little bit of an anchor on this card. A fun sending lots of love card just to you. Now we had lots of house images between our ephemera pieces and our cut apart sheets and our sticker sheets. So for my next card on the white card base, we've got House by You. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty silly pun, but I couldn't resist. House by You. It's been too long. Tell me how it's going. <laughs> I took that blue greeny pattern paper and I die cut that with my largest Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die, which is actually a full four and a quarter by five and a half. 
I cut another piece of that green pattern paper and cut the top edge of that with a stitched hillside die. Glued those both to the top of my white card base. This tree is from the ephemera pack. I glued that down directly on the card front. Both of these houses were from the ephemera pack. I mounted them on the card front using foam tape. They felt a little floaty to me, so I cut a couple of strips of the yellow pattern paper and put those under the bases of the house. Give them a little bit of a foundation on the hill there. I think that anchored them a little bit better. I used a stitch circle die to cut a little sun from that yellow pattern paper. And then I made this sentiment. <laughs> now, I did use my square Darice quote bubbles die to create this little speech bubble here. I just partially die cut the top, flipped it around, partially die cut the bottom. That gave me this nice smaller speech bubble to use for this sentiment. Of course, I created this sentiment using my Silhouette software. This is in the Brady Bunch Remastered font. I ultimately took the negative of that die cut and taped that on my printer paper, placing the sentiment right where I wanted. Then I took the die cut piece and taped that onto the back of this cardstock, ran it through my printer again, and it printed that sentiment just perfectly right in the middle of that speech bubble. House by you. It's been too long. Tell me how it's going. There's a little pun for us. It's a silly pun, but it makes me giggle. <laughs> there was one sentiment on our sticker sheet, a great big sentiment. I knew I had to use that this month because it is a song lyric. So happy together. So happy together. A nice love card here. Now, I was a little thrown by a lot of these sentiments and images in this kit have this two-tone feel, a darker color on the top, and then this wood grain on the bottom. I wasn't convinced that that worked really well, but then I took one of our rose gold peel-offs, and I put that peel-off between those two colors on this sentiment and that really with a spark of shine it really separated those nicely and almost gave a purpose to those two different colors kind of metallicizes it up is that even a word <laughs> so happy together you and me. <laughs> so I die cut a piece of our a gray pattern paper with a Lanthorn stitched rectangle die. I glued that to a thin white mat, glued those both down to our navy card base. I then did some partial frame around the two sides of that using the rose gold peel-offs. I needed something to match that little rose gold stripe going down the center of that sentiment. There you can see this nice shine. I added this sentiment to the middle of this field with foam squares, and then I grabbed our two bird wood veneer die cuts from our embellishment pack. I did do a little bit of a whitewash on those. I used my Tim Holtz distress crayon in picket fence. Just did a light whitewashing on the top of those. So it lightened it up a little bit, brought it a little bit closer to the white on that sentiment. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. You and me. A great love card, a great valentine, very masculine valentine here. I like that quite a bit. All the blues work really well together. Now, I was at a bit of a loss on what to do with this stack of luggage in our stamp set. There's not really very many travel-related items in our kit, but hey, pair that up with a globe ephemera piece and one of those craft tags, and we've got a 
a You Go Girl card, which works on many different levels. <laughs> I stamped that luggage stamp on a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock, just a scrap of that cardstock. Colored that with my Zig Clean Color markers. I used my metallic fine point Sharpies to color the little gold pieces on that center luggage using the rose gold on the bottom luggage. I colored those very feminine. I know this was going to be a girly card. <laughs> I created that sentiment using my Silhouette software. That's the Brady Bunch remastered font again. And I printed that on the bottom of my colored luggage stamp. And then I fussy cut those out together, added a mat of craft card stock from my stash to match our little luggage tag that was in our kit. Now I have some old luggage tags in my image files. I thought I could use one of these to add some detail to our little tags in our ephemera pack. So I ultimately grabbed this image and I sized it to match this luggage tag perfectly ran those through my printer together, and that gave us that nice little red reinforcement around the hole, gave us some lines, gave us a little bit of detail on that craft tag from our kit. The globe is from the ephemera pack. I attached that to the tag with some foam squares, and then of course tied another bow on the top of that tag using our twine. I took our yellow pattern paper, die cut that with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle die. I ran all three sizes of our rose gold peel-offs down the center of that, the wide one, two medium ones, two thin ones, kind of racing stripes down the center of this card. I matted the yellow pattern paper on a thin white mat and then a thin craft mat and then directly down to our maize yellow card base. You go girl! I added three little sequins from our sequin pack here, glued the tag directly to the card front and added the luggage stamp with some foam squares. You go girl! This is a great encouragement card, a great travel card, a great bon voyage card, a great off to college card. Many uses for a card like this. I was very pleased to be able to use that luggage stamp. It's really cute, although it is embroidered luggage, so I don't think many guys would be traveling with luggage like that. <laughs> Definitely a nice feminine card here. You go, girl! <laughs> Now we have that great old-fashioned telephone in our stamp set with some matching sentiments. Went really, really fun stamps on a black card base. We've got, you can ring my bell, ring my bell. Let's chat. It's been too long. <laughs> and if you've been following me at all for a little while, you know I'm kind of a, a slave to symmetry. I like symmetry on my cards. I'm not really big on asymmetry, but this card is asymmetrical. Because if you look at that stamp, the top of the stamp is this wide. The bottom of the stamp is really only this wide. So if I split those sentiments up and then centered them right underneath each other, then the bottom sentiment is sticking out over here on the right. So I shifted that over so it matched the bottom of the phone, kept this on top so it matched the top of my phone. But then when I took my Gina K oval dies to cut it out, it looked really odd cutting it out straight. So I tilted the die to the left a little bit to match this sentiment. I added those little laurel stamps from our stamp kit on the top and the bottom. I die cut one of the pattern papers from our cut apart sheets with the larger oval die matted that again on that gray pattern paper. This is matted on the gray pattern paper as well. I did create that sentiment using my Silhouette software. This again is the Brady Bunch font. You can see those are not centered one above the other. I stamped this phone using Versafine Onyx Black ink and I actually painted that phone with my Yasutomo Pearl Essence paints. These are like dirt cheap, like six bucks for this whole palette. Pearl Essence paints that work really very nicely. I think this is the first time I've used it. 
I'll have links to these over on my website. Really nice pearlescent paints. I love that red right there, which is what I painted the body of the phone in. Everything else is in that nice gold. A little bit of the green on the foliage top and bottom. I cut a one inch piece of that red pattern paper, glued that to the center of our black card base. Two of the medium strips of the uh, rose gold peel offs and then two thin one eighth inch strips of the pink. Yes, the pink pattern paper on the outside of that. You can't totally destroy my love of symmetry, even on one card. So those are nice and symmetrical, nice in the center. And then I mounted these two ovals way off. <laughs> it kind of look retro, kind of looks like those old atom illustrations with the various ovals going around each other. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Mm -hmm. Let's chat. It's been too long. Great. I really like that telephone, a really fun stamp that let's chat and it's been too long. Perfect sentiments to go along with that, but who can resist? A little disco for your cards. <laughs> and we got that great easy chair stamp in our stamp set, just begging to be colored. <laughs> so on a white card base, my next card, we've got a miss you card with two empty armchairs. <laughs> Now, I stamped these two armchairs on a piece of a watercolor cardstock, stamped that using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and then I reached for my great big Daniel Smith dot card, thank you Pat, and I painted this whole scene using my dot card here. The blue chair is cobalt blue, the red chair is organic vermilion with a touch of pyrrole orange. I used the Hansa yellow medium for the walls. I used the Indian yellow for the floor. And of course, some of the burnt sienna and quinacridone sienna for the dark wood touches. Painted that all up with my Daniel Smith dot card. A really nice, fun scene. Once I colored up those chairs, I thought they looked really lonely without anybody in them. And that's what prompted our sentiment on this card. A nice little Miss You sentiment. That is from the Hero Arts Mini Everyday Messages stamp set. I stamped that on a piece of vellum with onyx black ink and embossed that with some clear embossing powder. I die cut that out with one of my Lawn Fawn Everyday Messages dies. Ran that through my Xyron sticker maker to glue it to the front of this card. I found this little love picture in our add-on sticker pack. I trimmed it down, added a real tiny black frame around that, glued that to the wall. I die cut our watercolor piece with a Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die, gave it a very thin black mat, die cut that red pattern paper with another Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die, glued those all down to a white card base. Miss you, one thing was missing, and that was some head doilies on the tops of our chairs. I love those. I took that lace ribbon that we got in our kit and I cut out two of the scallops of the lace ribbon, glued those to the tops of the chairs. Now that looks homey. <laughs> My grandma had doilies on everything. <laughs> Miss you. Your easy chair is very cold without you here to warm it. <laughs> I really like this. I love how this little scene came out. That armchair stamp is really delightful. Okay, now I've used all of the sentiments in our stamp set, but I haven't used any of our dies yet. We got, what, eight or nine dies in this kit. Most of them were kind of gardening dies. And again, I wasn't quite sure how that worked in with the home sweet home theme, but I had to do something with the dies. So for my next card, this is on the mid gray card base. We've got 
Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Using that great boot die and that big flower die from our die set. Now I die cut the three flowers and the two boots out of a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock, colored those up with my Zig Clean Color markers, added all of the pieces back together just with some tape on the back to create all of these lovely pieces. I die cut a piece of gray cardstock from my stash with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle die. I sent that through my printer to create this sentiment. Happy Mother's Day! That's in the typewriter hand font. Printed that right on the bottom of that panel. I matted that gray panel on a piece of the gray pattern paper and then on a die cut piece of the green pattern paper and then matted on a thin piece of the yellow pattern paper. Now before I glue those all down to my gray cardstock, I took that last vine stamp from our stamp set. I stamped that down the two sides of this card. I used the Hero Hues a Green Apple Reactive Ink for that. A nice little subtle hint of green along the edges of this card. I then glued the boot with the two flowers directly to the card front, attached the boot with the single flower with foam tape, some nice dimension there, some really nice shading on those boots and those flowers. I tell you, those blue and orange flowers just pop off this card. A really fun Mother's Day card with a pun. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I love that boot die. <laughs> now, I had the idea for this last card when I first saw this kit. I had a big debate with myself over whether I should do this or not. This does involve the lamp stamp again. <laughs> and initially, I thought that lamp was a little too small to accomplish this card, but I pulled up my britches and I gave it a try anyway. This is on the navy blue card base. We've got that lovely lamp with a press here. Oh, the lamp lights up. And inside, you turn me on. <laughs> Don't you just. <laughs> I am so loving this. I thought that lamp was going to be way too small to do this with, but it worked out perfectly. I love that the little chibi lights inside there make that lampshade glow. It actually sends light out through the bottom as well. You can see that. I am so thrilled with this card. I can't help myself. <laughs> there we go. A nice, fun, interactive light-up card using that lamp stamp. Now, the big revelation on this card was creating this lampshade. You can see that that lampshade is dimensional. Now, I actually created that shade by just tracing the actual stamp shade getting rid of all of the scallops, and then added two little tabs on the edge to give us something to attach it to the card with. That's all I did. That is the shade right there. Just trace the shade on the lamp. So I stamped this lamp on some plain cardstock. I masked off the shade. I stamped it again, masking off the shade to get the little finial at the top there. So there's no shade in there, no shade in the background to show through. I sketched our little round table underneath the lamp. I colored all of this card with my Prismacolor colored pencils. I did this all on some plain cardstock before I thought about what I would use to color it. So I decided to go with my colored pencils, uh, created a light suggestion of wallpaper in the back, created this lovely table underneath. I didn't finish the legs because I knew our press here was going to go down there. Now I die cut our colored panel with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle die and I matted that on a piece of black cardstock. I cut a hole in that paper where I thought the light bulb should appear 
in that lamp. In real life, you can actually see a light bulb showing in the middle of that shade. <laughs> I took that great plaid pattern paper from one of our cut apart sheets, die cut that with a stitched rectangle die. I did mat that to a thin mat of black. I think you can see it there before gluing that to our navy blue card base. I did all of the chibi light wiring straight and simple on top of that plaid pattern paper. And then when I added this piece on top, I used foam tape on the bottom for the switch. You've got to have some foam tape to let the switch work. But then I glued the top of this panel directly down flat to the cardstock so I could get that little LED right up on top of the paper. So it would light up that shade as much as possible. You can see it poking through right there. Press here. You turn me on. <laughs> oh, too much fun. <laughs> Nobody should be allowed to have this much fun with a card kit. <laughs> So that's my 10 cards using the Love From Lizzie October 2019 card kit. I did manage to use every single stamp in this stamp set. I used some of all six pieces of our pattern paper. I used some of all of our cut apart sheets. I used some of our stickers from our big sticker sheet. I used uh, quite a few of the new rose gold peel offs. I used a little bit of almost all of our embellishments. The only thing I really didn't use embellishment wise was I didn't use our little pink doilies here, but I think using that ribbon as doilies on the chair makes up for that. I didn't use the glitter and I didn't use those big chunky metal springs. I didn't use the wobblers, but I used a little bit of everything else in our embellishment pack. As far as my extras, on the add-on sticker pack, I did use four hearts, two sentiment strips, and two pictures for our cards here. This is a really nice collection of truly useful cards. We've got a few Valentines and friendship cards, a new home card, a miss you card, an encouragement card, a couple of hello cards. I managed to get a few puns in here and a couple of song lyrics. <laughs> I think this is a great variety of cards. I think these are pretty masculine all in all, except of course for our pink luggage over here. <laughs> of course, this kit has sold out already. Like almost every other Lizzie kit that she produces, they sell out. Some sell out instantly. Some sell out in a few days. I tell you, if you want to join up and get in on some of the fun and take part in one of the most unique card kits I think that is on the market. You should become a subscriber. If you do go shopping at Love From Lizzie, please use my link in the description down below. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I hope you enjoy these cards as much as I enjoyed putting them together. Please remember to like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't forget to turn the light out when you leave the room. And as always, happy crafting.
For more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com. Thank you.